<laughs> the rectangular hyperbola is a special hyperbola. We're going to have an even more special one because I'm going to say a special rectangular hyperbola. Okay. So if we take this guy, right? If we rotate, now this time, because I'm, I'm nowhere dealing with the rectangular hyperbola, I'm going to stop saying x squared on a squared minus y squared on a squared. I'm just going to cart that a squared over the other side. So if we rotate this hyperbola, if we rotate x squared minus y squared equals a squared, pi on 4, or by pi on 4, okay, we will get the familiar hyperbola that we've actually been working with for years before we touched conics at all. Okay? We will get, and we write it in a different form this time, we will have this hyperbola, x, y equals c squared. Okay, now they write c squared because that value there is still a constant, but number one, it has to be positive for, for this particular one, and also it's not a, it's different from a. Okay, now this guy here, you might be more familiar with seeing him like this, right? So this is one on x and all of his cousins. Does that make sense? Uh, so what you're getting here is, well, it's the hyperbola you've been drawing for a long time. Just draw a little one for me. Okay, so we're going to be in the first and third quadrants. And I can put in my asymptotes, they're not going to be off here at pi on 4 radians, they're going to be shifted onto the coordinate axis like this. That's kind of funny because we are so very familiar with this shape, and yet, I don't know about you, but I still don't feel like this is similar, even though all I have to do is twist my head a little bit and you'll see it. Do you see it? Like just orient your head so that you're looking at it with this asymptote being, um, being upright, okay? And you'll see the same hyperbola. It is exactly the same thing. Okay? So the two important things I just want to take out from this is, what's the eccentricity? And if you rotate it, then what do you get? Now you can still work out everything from this. You can still work out all of the different features, um, but it just looks a bit different because the form of the equation is so drastically different to this. You still get the same hyperbola. Does this mean the directrices are slanting? Okay, so let's have a look at this, and I'll take advantage of the fact that I can rotate my head on this to see this. So that means I should be able to rotate my head on this and see that. Okay, so now is the right time to add the foci and directrices to our original rectangular hyperbola. Where are the foci and directrices? Let's do the foci first. Where are they relative to my hyperbola? A, 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 A. Yeah, good. So because um, I would usually say that the foci are at plus or minus AE, comma zero, but I know exactly what E is, right? It's root two. So that's like 1.4-ish. So if that's where A is, then I've got to be a bit further out, right? So on my diagram, I'm guessing it'll be somewhere like that, okay? So I'm going to call that one S, which would be, um, yeah, root 2A, comma, 0. And then, of course, you've got its um, mirror image over here. That's a bit messy, sorry. Okay, now, likewise, I'm going to have the directrices. Where are they? They're at um, a, 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 um, a on E, right? X equals plus or minus A on E. Now, a 1 on root 2, right? 1 on root 2 is actually a number you're also, you've also dealt with quite a lot. Does anyone know what it is up top of the head? Yeah. I think it's 0 0.707 from memory. Just check it for me. Did someone do? <laughs> 0 0.707, okay? I, not that I've tried to memorize that number. I've just seen it so many times, having plugged in 1 on root 2, okay? So 0 0.7, uh, I'm, I'm coming in here approximately, so... That's x equals a on root 2, and you have the mirror image. <coughs> So now, have a look at where those features are and think about how they're going to relate to here. We're not going to be able to put the equations and actual coordinates on just yet, but we can still work out, okay? Where physically are they going to be? Well, here are the vertices. You see that? Where the, it's going to be like sort of vertical, where it turns around, okay? So therefore, I'm going to imagine y equals x as my... Now, what is y equals x? It has a name. It has a name, yeah. Yeah, 
And uh, it's, yes, it's where you cross over from one branch to the other. It's the transverse axis, okay? okay. So I don't want you to draw it on because it's going to make my diagram very cluttered, just like this one, okay? But if you picture y equals x as your trans transverse axis there, you've got to travel a little bit further to get to your first focus, s. And then you've got to travel a little bit further over this way to get s dash, okay? In exactly the same way, you've got to come in a little bit to get the directrices. Uh, no, that's too close. Sorry. <coughs> Okay, I did my best, okay? So I'm going to call this, because I don't know its equation yet, by the way. This is d, and this is d dash, okay? Now, it's not required, but I'm going to leave it to you as a challenge, and um, since I'm doing it to you as a challenge, I've got to do it myself. Um, to work out, well, if I know everything about this, and I know it's just this guy rotated by pi on 4 radian, I should be able to work out exactly where these coordinates are, and I should be able to work out exactly what those equations are, shouldn't I? I mean, for instance, just on the face of it, Notice how these are um, off at this angle. What angle is that? It's going to be pi on 4, radians, right? Pi on 4 because these were exactly vertical, so they've just gone that way. That means their gradient should be super easy. They should both have a gradient of negative 1. Okay? So these are not hard equations to determine. Okay? Use a bit of geometry. Have a think about how it relates to this transverse axis here. And you should be able to work out exactly where everything is. Okay? Um, I'm not going to bother. Um, deriving them because you're gonna it's, the values are going to change depending on this value here okay but uh, it's not difficult so you might as well give this a shot for well considering if it was this one this exact hyperbola rotated.